Morning. This week, people across the country and here at home will don their spookiest costumes, turn on their favorite horror flick, and celebrate Halloween. But don't get tricked by all the treats. They can have an impact on your health. Joining us this morning is Nicole Winkler. She's a health coach with Teladoc Health. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. Nicole, Thanks for having me. Of course, of course, we so appreciate you're here. Uh, we know the little ones and even adults, we're all guilty of this. We love those sweets during spooky season. So tell us, how can we enjoy Halloween treats without going overboard? Yeah, I think it's important to keep the enjoyment in the holiday. Um, if sugar is a concern, there are ways to be mindful and practical without overindulging. There are small size candies available that are under 10 grams of sugar such as a snack size Kit Kat or maybe a roll of Smarties. We also like to use the four Ds. That means delay eating what you're craving and that craving might go down. Distract yourself with maybe another activity. Deflect your desire with maybe a glass of water. And if you're gonna give in, downsize your portion. A lot of times cravings can be minimized with just a bite or two. Oh, got it, got it. It can be really hard to do though. And we know that kids like to copy parents. So tell us, how can adults encourage their kids to practice moderation with Halloween candy? We know it's not easy. It, yeah, it'll be a little bit more challenging. However, there's some fun tactics. Um, as a family, decide when are the treats gonna be enjoyed? Maybe it's after school or maybe it's after dinner and then give the kiddos an option, maybe three to five candies to enjoy. And that spaces the consumption of the sugar out and it also makes the treats last longer. One other tip before trick or treating, give them some fiber or protein as a meal or to snack on and that can help manage cravings as well. Perfect. So what other tips do you have for balancing Halloween treats with overall family health? I know some parents like to just take them all away and uh, distribute them little by little. It was just crazy in my house. You could have as much as you want. But um, again, <laughs> how do you balance this with yeah. overall family health? Yeah, it's going to look different for every family. But like we said, we want the kids to enjoy those treats. <clears throat> and you can maybe balance it with some activity. This time of year is usually pretty weather, walk or play outside or go trick or treating with the kids. There's also a fun opportunity to shift the focus away from the candy. Maybe do a pumpkin carving contest or even a Halloween costume contest. Make sure that both the parents and the kids are staying hydrated. A lot of um, treats can be curbed with a glass of water. And then buy only the amount of candy that you need. That way you're not dealing with leftovers the next day. Got it. So don't get the giant Costco jumbo pack of candy. Right? Be, but yeah, <laughs> very tempting. Nicole, thank you so much for joining us this morning and happy trick or treating to you. Oh, thanks. You too.